All right. So get this. Hmm. Uh, you sent us this document. Yeah. About this Zimbabwean inventor. Okay. Who claims to have cracked the code of free energy. Wow. Yeah, you heard that right. Free energy. Free energy. Mm -hmm. His name is Maxwell Chikambutso. Okay. And uh, he says he can power everything. Really? From cars to TVs. Uh -huh. Using something he calls microsonic energy. Microsonic energy. Sounds wild, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So tell me more about this guy. So what's interesting here yeah. is that Chikambutso isn't coming from like oh, right. some high-tech lab yeah. in Silicon Valley or something. Uh -huh. He's a self-caught inventor mm. working in a place I see. not typically known for technological breakthroughs. That's interesting. Exactly. It really challenges assumptions about like right. where innovation comes from. For sure. Yeah. So how does this I just... microsonic energy actually work? Yeah. The document claims he can mm. pull power from radio waves. Radio waves, huh? Imagine if your car antenna. Okay didn't just play music right but actually fueled the engine like it powered the car yeah could that even be possible well so he says he's figured out how to capture those ambient radio waves uh -huh. kind that are all around us yeah and amplify them into usable electrical current okay he even mentions using superconductors wow and nanomaterials so that sounds yeah. pretty high tech it does how would he even have access to this kind of stuff right in zimbabwe? well that's part of the mystery we know he doesn't have right. a formal scientific background and mm -hmm. zimbabwe is not exactly known for its nanotech industry so this document you sent us yeah it lays out his claims but mm -hmm. does it actually get into the specifics of right. how this technology works well there are descriptions of antennas capturing this broad spectrum Okay. of radio frequencies mm -hmm. from sources like the ionosphere mm -hmm. and even our own communication networks. Wow. But the details on how that energy is amplified right. and converted into a usable form, yeah. that's where things get a bit vague. So he's basically saying he's harnessing the power yeah. of invisible signals kind of. all around us. Yeah. If this is even remotely true, it would be. It could be revolutionary. Revolutionary, yeah. Imagine no, no more no more gas stations. Gas stations, yeah. No more charging stations. No more charging stations. Clean, yeah. limitless energy limitless. from thin air. It's a very captivating idea, no yeah. doubt. But it really does go against a lot of what we know about physics. For sure. The energy density of yeah. ammon and radio waves is incredibly low. Yeah. You'd need an incredibly efficient and powerful system right. to capture and amplify them okay. to a level that could power something like a car. Let's talk about this car. Okay. He calls it the scythe. The scythe. The document says it can reach speeds of wow. 220 kilometers per hour. Okay. And costs a fraction of what it takes. Really? To manufacture a standard electric vehicle. So think about it. Even high-end electric car like Teslas still rely on these bulky, expensive batteries uh -huh. and require access to exactly. charging infrastructure. Yeah. If Chikambuto's claims are true, right. the Scythe could potentially drive forever wow. without needing to refuel or recharge. The document also mentions other inventions. Oh, really? A self-powered TV, DVD. a megawatt generator, wow. even a racing motorbike. Mm-hmm all running off this microsonic energy. So it's not just a car. If he's pulled this off, it's yeah. not just a cool gadget. It's a total game changer. It's a total game changer. Especially for regions like Africa, where right. energy poverty is a huge issue. Yeah. Imagine the impact, yeah. reliable off-grid power yeah. that have on communities struggling with limited access to electricity. Okay, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. This all sounds pretty unbelievable, it right? It does sound unbelievable. What are the chances this is actually real? Well, like... <sighs> Let's just say the scientific community uh -huh. is taking a wait and see approach. Right. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Yeah. And so right. far, we haven't seen much to back up these bold assertions. But there's a lot of skepticism out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. Defying the laws of physics is, is a pretty tall order. It is. And yet, history is full of examples okay. of breakthroughs that were mm -hmm. initially met with resistance. Right. Think about Galileo claiming the Earth revolves around the sun. Okay, yeah. Or the Wright brothers trying to fly. Right. People probably thought they were crazy. Okay, so how about this? Okay. Let's say for a moment yeah. that Chicken Butto's technology is legitimate. Okay. What would the implications be? Yeah, what would that look like? We're not just talking about a new type of car. Right. This could disrupt entire industries, hmm. maybe even reshape the global balance of power. If this technology really works, yeah. the impact would be profound. Yeah. Imagine the implications for oil-dependent economies, right. for energy companies, uh -huh. for governments that rely on fossil fuel revenue. Yeah. This could be a seismic shift Wow. in the geopolitical landscape. Okay, so we've got... 
a potentially world-changing invention, right? a controversial inventor, yeah. going up against powerful forces, uh -huh. a nation betting big on a radical future. Wow. What's the next chapter in this story? Well, all eyes are on February 10th, 2025. Okay. That's when Chikambutso is scheduled to unveil his technology to the world mm. in Zimbabwe. Okay. It's a make or break moment. If yeah. he can demonstrate what he claims, right. it could change everything. So what's your take on all this? Well, do you think this is the real deal? Uh-huh. Or is it just another case of wishful thinking? I'm approaching this with cautiousism. Okay. I'm fascinated by the potential, yeah. but I also recognize the need for <laughs> rigorous scrutiny. For sure. We need to separate the hype from the facts, uh -huh. and that's what we're going to try to do today. Great. So for you listening at home, yeah. strap in. Get ready. We're about to go deep into the world of right. microsonic energy. Microsonic energy. Exploring its potential its challenges and its implications. It's going to be a great deep dive. Are you ready to take the plunge? Let's do it. It's interesting to think about yeah. the history of free energy claims. Yeah. You know, Chikabutso isn't the first person to say they figured uh. out how to create energy from nothing. Right. There's a long line of inventors who right. claim to have right. discovered revolutionary energy sources uh -huh. only to be met with skepticism and even ridicule. Like Nikola Tesla. Oh, yeah. For example. Yeah. He was obsessed with this idea of wireless power transmission. Yeah. But his ideas were considered too radical. Too radical for the time. At the time. He faced a lot of pushback from the scientific establishment yeah. and powerful interests right. who had escape in the existing yeah. energy infrastructure. And there was that guy, Stanley Meyer. Stanley Meyer. Who claimed to have invented a car right. that ran on water. A water-powered car. Yeah, whatever happened with that? Well, his water fuel cell technology generated a lot of buzz in the 1990s. Yeah. But he died under mysterious circumstances mm -hmm. before he could fully prove his claims. Really? Some people believe he was silenced by powerful forces. Wow. Threatened by his invention. So Chikambutso is stepping into yeah. a pretty contentious field. It is a contentious field. Do you think there's a pattern here? Hmm. Are these inventors onto something real? Yeah, are they? Or are they just chasing a pipe dream? It's hard to say for sure. Yeah. There's always a possibility right. that some of these inventors are on the right track, uh -huh. but they face an uphill battle against yeah. established scientific paradigms and yeah. entrenched economic interests. It makes you wonder yeah. if Chikambutso really has cracked the code right. of free energy. Uh -huh. Could he overcome the forces that have seemingly silenced others before him? Silenced others, yeah. Is he destined to meet the same fate? Yeah. Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure. Yeah. If his technology is legitimate, right. it could have a massive impact on the world. So let's imagine for a second okay. that Chicken Boots's claims are true. Right. What would a world powered by microsonic energy look like? It's a fascinating thought experiment. Yeah. If we could tap into ambient radio waves uh -huh. as an energy source, right. it could potentially transform everything from oh, transportation yeah. To manufacturing. Yeah. To how we power our homes. No more reliance on fossil fuels. Right. No more carbon emissions. No more emissions. No more energy scarcity. It sounds almost utopian. It does. But it's important to remember that yeah. even with a revolutionary technology like this, mm -hmm. there would still be challenges to overcome. Like what? Distributing this energy. Okay. Managing its impact on the environment yeah. and ensuring equitable access yeah. would all be complex issues. And of course, there's the question of right. how existing power structures yeah how would they react would react to such a disruptive technology would they embrace it yeah or try to suppress it okay let's bring things back down to earth for a moment okay we've talked a lot about the potential global implications mm -hmm. but what about the more immediate impact on zimbabwe yeah this document mentions that the zimbabwean president oh really is backing chicken work yes and that's a significant development if yeah. chicken succeeds right it could position Zimbabwe as a leader wow. in this new energy frontier. Imagine that yeah. a country often overlooked on the global stage right. suddenly becomes the epicenter yeah. of an energy revolution. It's a pretty compelling narrative. It is. It's a testament to the power of innovation yeah. and potential for groundbreaking ideas to yeah. emerge from unexpected places. But let's not forget the potential risks. Right. What if what Chikambutso's technology doesn't live up to the hype? Yeah. What happens then? There's a lot riding on his demonstration on right. February 10th. Uh-huh. If it's successful, yeah. it could be a game changer. Right. But if it fails, yeah. it could set back the development of this technology for years. And there's also the potential for misuse. Oh, yeah. 
could this technology be weaponized? That's a valid concern when any right. powerful technology. Yeah. It's important to think about the potential downsides uh -huh. as well as the benefits. So what can you tell us about the actual evidence yeah. supporting Chikabutso's claims? Well, the document mentions working prototypes. Uh -huh. But is there any independent verification? So far, the evidence is largely anecdotal. Okay. We have eyewitness accounts of uh -huh. his inventions working. Okay. But there hasn't been any... <laughs> rigorous scientific testing yeah. or peer review. So essentially, we're being asked to take Chippabutso's word for it. That's right. And that's where critical thinking comes in. Right. We need to be cautious about accepting extraordinary claims uh -huh. without extraordinary evidence. So how do we evaluate these claims? What questions should we be asking? First, we need to consider okay. the source of the information. Uh -huh. Is it credible? Right. Is it biased? And in this case, our source is a single document. Right. With no clear author yeah. or affiliation. That raises some red flags. Yeah, it does. We also need to look at the evidence itself. Okay. Is it consistent uh -huh. with what we know about science and technology? Right. Are there any alternative explanations? So far, we haven't seen any detailed schematics, right. experimental data, no. or independent analysis uh -huh. to back up Chicken Butso's claims. That's not to say his technology is impossible. Okay. But it does mean we should approach it right. <laughs> with a healthy dose of skepticism. Okay, so how about this? Uh -huh. Let's dive into one of Chicken Butso's inventions right. okay. in more detail and see if we can yeah. unpack how it's supposed to work. Okay. What about that self-powered television you mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah, the TV. That one really caught my attention. That's a good choice. Yeah. It's one of the most intriguing claims in the document. The idea of a TV running entirely on ambient energy yeah. is pretty mind-blowing. It is. No cords, no batteries. Wow. Just endless entertainment. Endless entertainment. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. It does sound very futuristic. So how's this thing supposed to work? Well, according to the document, yeah. it works on the same principle as the car. Uh -huh. And the other inventions, sure. specialized antennas capture radio waves, okay. which are then converted into a usable form of energy uh -huh. to power the television. Okay. But even if you could capture enough energy right. from radio waves, uh -huh. wouldn't you need some kind of storage system? Yeah, like a battery. Or like a something. battery, yeah. Right, to ensure a consistent power supply. Right, because TVs need a lot of energy they do. to function. Yeah, that's a valid point. Yeah. Traditional electronics mm -hmm. rely on batteries or capacitors right. to smooth out fluctuations in power. Yeah. But Chikambutso claims his technology can provide wow. a constant flow of electricity wow. directly from the converted radio waves. Really? Eliminating the need for batteries. That's a bold claim. It is. Even if we assume he can capture enough energy yeah. from radio waves, uh -huh. how does he manage to stabilize the flow right. to a level that can power a TV? Yeah. There's no explanation of that in the document. That's one of the many missing pieces of the puzzle. Right. Without more detailed information about yeah. the inner workings of his technology, uh -huh. it's difficult to assess yeah. the feasibility of his claims. So we're left with more questions than answers. It seems that way. But even if we set aside the technical questions for a moment, yeah. the potential applications of a self-powered TV right. are pretty fascinating. They are fascinating. Imagine the implications for communities Yeah without reliable access to electricity. Absolutely. In many parts of the world, people rely on expensive and polluting generators uh -huh. or simply go without electricity altogether. Wow. A television that could run without any external power source yeah. could be a game changer. It could provide access to information, right. education, and entertainment, uh -huh. bridging the digital divide, yeah. Empowering people in underserved communities. And it's not just about entertainment. Yeah, what else? Imagine the potential for distance learning. Right. Telemedicine yeah. and other essential services yeah. in remote areas. It's a powerful example. It is. Of how a seemingly simple invention right. could have a profound impact yeah. on people's lives. It's a reminder that innovation isn't always about right. creating something entirely new. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's about finding creative ways yeah. to adapt existing technologies right. to address real world problems. It's amazing to think about it is. a world where energy is as abundant and accessible right. as the air we breathe. Yeah. But how realistic is that vision? Yeah, is this Chikabutso's microsonic energy uh -huh. the key to unlocking that future? Right. Or just another tantalizing illusion? That's the question we've been wrestling with yeah. throughout this whole deep dive. Yeah. We've explored the claims, uh -huh. the potential, right. the challenges, yeah. but the ultimate answer yeah. lies in the evidence. Okay, so let's talk about the evidence. Uh -huh. What would it take? Yeah, what would it take? 
to convince the scientific community. Right. And frankly, people like you and me. Yeah. That this technology is legitimate. Is legitimate. Well, he would need to provide okay. much more than just anecdotal evidence okay, yeah. and vague descriptions. Right. He'd need to open up his technology to oh. independent scrutiny right. and allow scientists no. to conduct rigorous testing. So no more secrecy. Right. No more trade secrets as an excuse mm -hmm. to avoid sharing details. Right. He'd need to You need to lay it all out. Lay it all out, yeah. On the table. Exactly. He would need to publish oh, right. detailed schematics, yeah, huh? experimental data. Right. And analysis okay. in peer-reviewed scientific journals. The real deal. Yeah, the real deal. Scientific journals. He'd need to be completely transparent uh -huh. about how his inventions work uh -huh. and allow others to replicate his results. And this testing would have to be done. Yeah, it would have These to be. These controlled environments, right? In control environments, absolutely. To eliminate any possibility of right. trickery or outside interference. Rigorous scientific testing requires okay. carefully designed experiments. Uh-huh controlled variables, right. and independent verification of results. So what are the chances? Yeah, what are the chances? Of that happening? Yeah, do you think... I think Chicken Butso is willing... If he will... ...to about. subject his technology to that level of scrutiny? It's hard to say. Yeah. He's expressed concerns about okay. intellectual property theft uh -huh. and suppression by powerful interests. Right. He seems reluctant to share the specifics okay. of his inventions yeah. until he feels they're adequately protected. That's understandable. It is. But it also creates a catch-22 situation. Right. Without yeah. transparency, yeah. it's difficult to gain the scientific credibility uh -huh. and support he needs. He needs that support. To move forward. It's a move. delicate balance. On the one hand, right. protecting his intellectual property is essential. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. he needs to engage with the scientific community right. if he wants his claims to be taken seriously. And let's not forget about right. and what the potential to... resistance from those, yeah, those who have a vested interest. A vested interest. Yeah. In maintaining the current energy paradigm. In the status quo. If Chicken Butso's technology is truly disruptive. Right. If it's really disruptive. There are powerful forces. Powerful forces out there. That might try to stop it. It's a classic David and Goliath scenario. Yeah. A lone inventor claiming to have this technology right. that upend trillion dollar industries. Wow. It's no surprise yeah. that there would be pushback. We've seen this pattern before. We have. With other inventors who claim to have discovered yeah, uh -huh. revolutionary energy sources. And revolutionary energy, They yeah. often face skepticism. Skepticism. Ridicule and even threats. History is full of examples of yeah. groundbreaking ideas yeah. being suppressed or dismissed. Right. Because they challenge the status quo. It's tough. It can be a long and difficult road yeah. for innovators who dare to think outside the box. So where do we go from here? Yeah, where do we go? We have this incredible story. We do. A fascinating technology mm -hmm. and a lot of unanswered questions. A lot of questions, yeah. What's the takeaway? What's the takeaway? For our listeners? Well, I think this deep dive yeah. has been a valuable exercise okay. in critical thinking. Right. We've encountered extraordinary claims, uh -huh. explored tantalizing possibilities, right. and wrestled with the limitations yeah. of the available evidence. It's a reminder. It is a reminder. That we should be both. <laughs> right. We should be... Curious and skeptical. Curious and skeptical. We should be open to new ideas. Open to new ideas, yeah. But we should also demand evidence. Evidence. And rigorous scrutiny. Rigorous scrutiny, yeah. Before accepting them as fact. It's a process. Yeah. And it's also a reminder that <laughs> the pursuit of knowledge uh -huh. is an ongoing process. There's yeah. always more to learn, right. more questions to ask, yeah. and more discoveries to be made. So as we await the outcome right, as we wait. of Chikabutsa's demonstration on February 10th, Mm -hmm. I encourage you to stay curious. Stay curious, yeah. Stay engaged. Stay engaged. And stay informed. Stay informed. Consume your own research. Yeah. Explore different perspectives. Explore different perspectives. And come to your own conclusions. And most importantly, yeah. don't be afraid to question assumptions. Okay. Challenge conventional wisdom. Right. <laughs> and think for yourself. Think for yourself. That's the essence of critical thinking. Yeah. And the foundation of scientific progress. Well said. And on that note, yeah. we'll wrap up this deep dive into the world of microsonic energy. All right. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. On this journey of exploration and discovery. Until next time. Yeah. Stay curious. Stay curious. Stay skeptical. Stay skeptical. And keep an open mind. We'll see you next time.